Well, from fire to ice, Madison's Clean Lake Alliance is getting ready for its annual Frozen Assets Festival. News 3 Now is a proud sponsor. There are events all next week with the big party taking place a week from Saturday at the Edgewater Hotel. Last week, Susan and I headed out to the lake to get a preview of the festival from Adam Soderstein, the Alliance's marketing director. So we're out on the lake. Is it safe? Hey, it's safe. Uh, well, here's what the DNR will tell you, that no ice is ever safe. They're not going to tell you something is safe. But we've done some test holes, and it's over 8 inches, or it's around 8 inches, and anything over 3 is safe to be on. I've got to tell you, it is so cool to be on the lake in the winter. To, you know what I mean? To be walking on the ice, it's such a cool well, feeling. This is Madison's largest park, yeah, you know? Exactly. So so when the, when the lakes freeze, these are these huge, majestic parks we have. And, you know, Clean Lakes Alliance, we want to make sure that people think of the lakes all year round. So we really take advantage of this park in the winter with frozen assets. Yeah. And how did this idea come about? Well, the idea was people seem to think about the lakes only in the summer when they're boating, they're fishing, they're swimming, they're doing whatever. And we wanted to say, hey, you, th these are our gems year round. So let's really get people out here. You know, there's people that lived in Madison their whole life and they've ever walked down a frozen lake. Wow. And so this gives them the opportunity for free to come out and snowshoe, to try curling, to take a sleigh ride, to roast s'mores, to do all these fun winter activities that we can do here in Madison. Tell us a little bit about the Frozen Assets Festival. What are you, what are you going to be doing? Well, we're going to be doing a little bit of everything. So people will be able to see some great stuff on land here at the Edgewater. They're going to be able to see some championship uh, speed skating, some figure skating, uh, all sorts of fun dance activities. And then out here on the ice, there's sleigh rides that we're going to pull people around. There's going to be skydivers coming in, landing on the ice, kites over Mendota, these huge show kites. We're going to have actually a 5K held entirely here on the frozen lake, which is super cool. It'll run right out towards Picnic Point, past the Statue of Liberty at the Union. So just a lot of very cool, engaging things. Weather permitting or whether or not. Well, I think right now, knock on wood, we're going to be okay. We have some really good ice, so I think everything's going to happen on the lake. If for some reason we didn't have safe ice, we would be able to pull everything on, on site. You know, the Edgewater is just a fantastic sponsor. Land's End, which sponsors it too. Some of our larger sponsors have given us the opportunity to make sure that no matter what, we're going to have a large family festival. Temperatures are going to be hovering in that dangerous mid-30 range. Right. Well, we've built some good ice at this point, so that's the good thing. And, and so long as we fall down below freezing at night, will be great um, as long as it's not you know 50 and rainy we'll be okay let's see how deep it is yeah let's take a look here oh, i think it is i guess hand dog in here that's thick here oh look at that wow let's see i got a tape measure we'll put a tape on it here wow adam well done hey you know <laughs> I live in wisconsin you gotta have the right tools yeah, the right, right tools we forgot the fishing rods <laughs> Oh, that's cold. That's that's nine inches right there. So oh. that's that's pretty thick. That's a, a thick bit of ice. And so, you know, we'll have our 5K out here, all sorts of festival activities. People are going to have a great time. Thank goodness we've built good ice this year. In the 160 plus years they've been keeping track, the lake has always frozen. So. Luckily, we made it another year. If, if, if I wanted to walk across the lake, is the ice this thick all the way across? You know, it's hard to tell because there is still moving water underneath. We went out and drilled some holes the other day, and it's a little uh, less when you get a little farther out there, five inches or so, but still pretty safe to walk on. Oh, okay. I think it'd be thicker out there than near shore. Yeah, well, the thing is, is it ends up building here and then moving oh, out. So way. it's, yeah, it's, it's it, and especially on where we are, the wind tends to push it this way. So when it's building, this is where all the ice starts and then it just moves its way out. Well, have a great festival. Hey, thank you guys very Adam, much. Adam, thank you so much. Great to see you. And we did record that last week, and I'm not mm -hmm. sure it's still nine inches, but they're, they're pretty confident there'll be enough. To check the website next week. Definitely. It's 40s this weekend. And there's no way they would let you out oh, if no, no. it was dangerous. So. And they have a backup plan everything for everything inside. So. Yeah. It's a great Get on the lake. It's a great time. I know. Why not? Enjoy the winter that we have. Absolutely. And we'll get a <laughs> final check of that forecast coming up. Hey, pretty roll playback.